All right, so we have confirmed that I have saved Taylor this playthrough. So at least that's a change from the original. However, we got Fearful and Arrogant, two things we have not yet unlocked with Daniel. And I'm wondering, what can I do to unlock these? Maybe I screwed up. I might have screwed up. It might have been that you always have to, like, confront instead of run. You know? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh... I think he's still going to die. I do. I think he's still going to die. John as well. I don't know how we're doing with John. But, all right. Let's continue. <clears throat> let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. All right. We are Daniel right now. I'm happy that at least I got another character saved. At least there's something massively different achieved in this playthrough. So I'm happy with that. And I liked how... I definitely like the hanging version of Tanya's ghost. Way better than the burned version of Tanya's ghost. The tongue lash lasso thing is fucking crazy. That is just crazy cool. And then she fucking bit it to survive, which is nuts. <clears throat> really cool. Another one of those. I don't even care. <laughs> Another familiar. This is it. This is the end. Now they're constantly going to get attacked. And you got to do a ton of quick times and shit. I remember. Okay. What happened back there with that thing? Hopeful. It's gone. Whatever it was, it's gone. And it ain't coming back. <laughs> I really hope you're right. Whatever we saw back there or thought we saw... We're still in grave danger. You can't be sure of that. Assertive. We must talk to that judge. We need your double to spill the beans on Mary to the judge. Seems like the <clears throat> only way to stop her and get us out of here alive. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. Another theory was setting fire to a doll would get rid of Mary. <laughs> and how did that work out? It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong, and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. Shout out to Ninstar, Rooney, Cheer, and so what would Phil's demon look like? God, I guess it would depend on, in a game like this, what gruesome death my character died. You know, how did I die? And it would be depending on, like, maybe I was taking a shit, and I got sucked into the toilet, and my legs... Went up like this, and my upper half went like this. I snapped like this. So my ghost would just be like a sandwich floating around trying to get you. A body sandwich or something. I don't know. Just a theory. CM Fool to me, $4.20 says, Maybe you need to do a Quiet Man full run or a full stalker run. Oh my god, CM Fool. <laughs> One thing is for certain. The things that come out of CM Fool's malt is far more terrifying than anything in this game. Seriously. Can you imagine that if I had to play those games again? But anyway, thank you CM Fool. For a four dollar tip. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Actually, that's a good suggestion. Someone said my ghost would be the clown emote. Me in the in the clown emote? Terrifying. Me in the in a fucking Joker makeup coming after you. Dude, that'd actually be genuinely scary because people multiple people have photoshopped me into different kinds of Joker makeup. That would actually be fucking crazy scary, I think. Me in the Joker makeup. I'm just saying. So, me coming after you like that. Timbo Slice Tree, so are you saying when you're in danger, you hide in the bathroom just like blackout? Dude, the bathroom's the safest place to be. You think you guys thought I was fucking around in Black Ops 4 Black? Nah, dude. You hide in that bathroom. There's many places you can hide. The shower, put your head in the toilet. You can't see no ghost if your head's under the toilet water. Let me tell you something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That flashlight ain't working over here. Look, it's dark as fuck. All right, forget it. Let's go in. So this is the craziest part of the game. This is where all I think all the ghosts start showing up, and you have to really like like try hard to survive up here. here Check we go. this out. Letting go squeak, I always check out fan submitted stuff like emotes, so. Bearing updated. Vin shouted to Andrew outside the factory, telling him this will all be over soon. That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. 
He didn't say that, though. He didn't say this will all be over soon. Weird. Blackman C-Type said that my ghost was a special delivery. <laughs> Just like that. Well, I wonder what that's a reference no one's to. been here for a long time. Oh, boy! Here we go. It's my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. <laughs> and lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. That's so fucked up. Do you up. Now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against <clears throat> the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. <clears throat> Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. Of course. If the court agrees. Of course. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. All right. So anyway... Two shoutouts here. See him fool to me another dollar thirty. He said, "If I died playing the choir, man, what would my ghost be?" I don't know. Something to do with with you know getting an ear infection after playing it. I bet. So maybe giant swollen infected ears spewing liquid out of them. Like I spin and my ear liquid just squirts all over everyone. Maybe that's what it would be. Uh, so Sir Spartan King resold for nineteen months in a row and said, "Alert! A PS Five party is incoming. Thursday, baby, let's go." Thank you very much for the resub, Sir Spartan King. X Street Fighter fan has tipped me eleven dollars. Thank you, X Street Fighter fan. That is the biggest tip of the night, and I appreciate that. So that plus CM Fool's tip jumps us up to twenty dollars total in tips so far tonight. Thank you guys for that. We're in the finale. We're we're heading. In. I know it's getting pretty intense. We're almost done. So let's see what happens. Here we go. But now, again, we gotta accuse Mary. We gotta hey, do Rahan. this. Django Pops just gifted us up to Drakenmon. Congrats, Drakenmon. Thank you, Django take. Pops. My conscience tells me I must speak out against Mary, but it weighs heavy on my heart to do so. The girl is evil. You've gotta tell the judge everything. That girl is evil. Everyone needs to know it. <laughs> Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it. We tried to coach Mary him. Has spoken of evil spirits, devilry, and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm Little not Hope. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary confessed to me all her accusations were false. Oh, he lied. She did not see what she claimed. There was no witchcraft, there were no familiars, no devils. All were just the imaginings of a child's mind. Wow. I understand the gravity of your testimony. Hey, we haven't told the Judge Wyman. Mary confessed to him her stories of witchcraft were false. Now, she didn't do that. He made that shit up. <laughs> wow. Wow. <clears throat> yes, George, I do. Very well. You may step down. Mary is to remain with me. Given your testimony, I feel the child must go elsewhere. The Reverend Carver will be Mary's new charge. Wow. Now, how dumb is this? Now, wait a minute. Mary admits she's been lying to everyone all along and literally convinced the priest of everyone being fall, fate, or guilty of witchcraft. The, the priest then condemned them all and had them all murdered. The judge says, okay, then take the girl away from you and give her, give her to the priest. 
You wanna know who the worst character is in this game? This fucking judge right here. What if? What the fuck kind of idiot is this? What a grade A asshole. <laughs> Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? Yeah, we saw him. He told the judge that Mary made it all up. None of what she said was true. Now what? She gets taken away and does time for her lies? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? Supportive. Yes. It went down just like he said. Now this is where it gets bad. This is where I fucked up in the first run. This was the end of, of Daniel, so yeah. I have to not oh, do that fuck. this time. We can't stay. Let's Hold on. Get... Let me make sure I don't have a Colonel Sanders beard on, right? It's been over, it's been a week. <laughs> no Colonel Sanders beard to fuck this up this time. All right, it's all on me now. I can't make any excuses. It's all on me to do the right choices. Here we go. Ah. <clears throat> Here we go. All on me. What the fuck is that a Michael Myers emo? Jesus Christ, D-Man 11. You gonna put that kind of shit in the fucking the tree chat now? <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, I guess it's kind of appropriate. At the same time, it's creepy. Fucking Michael Myers. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Kiss my ass. This is when he got let, uh, let go disciplinary meeting kiss my ass oh yeah ml gibson cheered he said the news that the fourth one in the series will be in the midwest and about the colts really wait the fourth one there's no fourth one there's only third three there's no fourth game in the series supposedly right <clears throat> to my knowledge the 1970s family Get over here. You gotta see this. See him full to me a dollar thirty. He says, "What if someone dies? You have to play the full run of the this Quiet is too Man." No, weird. absolutely not. I don't. Thank you for the tip. This is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? You think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. That's correct. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. I wonder if that's significant. Finding the picture and holding on to what it you or said not. About I wonder. All this being a nightmare. You mean that? That's my nightmare. Why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> True. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So <laughs> Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is... Oops. ...photo. But they're around the same age as us. As far as I can tell. Now, these are all notes and parts of the plot that we already read and stuff, so I don't need to read those again. Same thing, newspaper, I don't need to read that again. They say dope on the wall. Dope? Andrew going this way. Oh, there's Taylor at the back door. There's the sign about the factory closing. Did I miss anything? Because I think Andrew keeps going this way. But did I miss anything? Oh, shit. No, this is where... Okay, that's where the danger is. I remember. Let's just double check and make sure there's nothing else over here before we do it. No, that's it. Dead end? That's a dead end. Okay. So that's it. We gotta go to the danger now, guys. 
Okay. Did I did I open this in the first run? Yes. This is where you find out about Vince. This is Vince in the picture. Vince and Tanya. That's the story here. Yep. She leave him for some other guy. Yep. That's the that's how you find out that was Vince all along. Following you around. X Street Fighter fan has now tipped me another five dollars. Thank you very much, X Street Fighter fan. I really appreciate it tonight. Thank you, thank you. We're up to $26 in tips now, everybody. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So what's your theory, smart guy? We're dead. Oh, he said we're dead. You hear that? <clears throat> oh, shit. Right below us. We need to find a way out of here. Now. Well, he was right. His theory is correct. They are dead. Except for Andrew. And this is where it goes to shit. This is where the big fuck up happened in my first playthrough. And basically someone died before the finale and I was not very happy about it. I was pretty upset actually. <clears throat> did I read this in the first playthrough? I don't know if I did. No, I didn't. The tragic fire caused by a child's toy. Or did I? No, I did, because this reveals that Anthony Clark is the survivor. Anthony uh, survived. That's how we found out Anthony didn't die, by reading that newspaper, right? <clears throat> Alright, now this is where it goes to shit, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's get ready. Let's not fuck up. No beard. To fall off my unless my real beard falls off my face spontaneously, which would be pretty unprecedented. All right, here we go. No worse than canceled orders, unless there's PS5s in there. If that's the case, I'll take them all. That's heavy. Xbox Series X. Send it my way. Get your ass over here and help me <clears throat> out. What's all up? All right. You take that side. I'll take this side. We push together, right? This is where it all goes wrong. Good. Now, push. Whoa. Oh, shit. Ah. Not good. All right, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Daniel? You okay? Oh, fuck. Ah. Ooh, my hands are sweating. Pull up. Fucking sick. That was absolutely awesome. Triangle. Come on. Come on. Reassuring. Go. Unbroken. Oh shit. Time to confront your demons. Boom. Do it. Do it, Daniel. Do it. Confront those fucking demons. Oh yeah, right in the heart. Damn, he's tough. That's a tough motherfucker. He's not good. Come on, Daniel. You can do it, man. You can do it. Woo! Oh my god, Daniel escaped from the demon. I did it. Woo! That was good shit. He didn't beat it, but he, he... See, homegrown hero? I think he beat his demons too. I think I just did it. Let's confirm, but I'm pretty sure that's what that trophy was. By the way, my battery's super fucking low. Defeated Taylor's demons? Uh, fuck. 
Amiable character, one of the top two traits for Daniel. Uh, save Daniel! I did it! I saved Daniel. Nice! This is great. All right. Three down, one to go. We have to save John. And if I do that, I saved all four of them. All right. <sighs> okay. CM Fool tipped me a dollar thirty. He says, Will you play Stalker one before Stalker two? Oh my God, CM Fool. No. 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 Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm not playing Stalker. <laughs> oh my God. Ninstar Root Charity says, imagine if the battery died in the middle of that fight. I know. Holy shit. And Sir Martin King Charity says, taking a gamble, going through a long quick time event with low controller battery. Maybe I should put my controller in. What do you guys think? I think I should plug it in for the end here. No! No! Okay. I think I should plug in my controller. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Phew. Nail biter, dude. It's a nail biter doing these quick times. All right. Fucking cords all wrapped up like a fucking Medusa snake. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> All right, one more to go. Now, I don't know how to save John. The whole game we've been doing the right things with John, I feel. I feel like we've been doing the right choices. So I'm hoping that we're in a situation where we can save him too. All right? <clears throat> okay. No. All right, now we can, I think we can continue. Ninstar Rune Chase says, I countered those. I counted those. That was a double negative, ultimately, stalker confirmed. No, I, I just said it again, so there you go. <laughs> Okay. Phew, we did it. All right. Daniel? But now they're separated, which is interesting because that's right. In the original playthrough, Daniel was gone because he was dead. Now he's separated from them. When will they rejoin? No, you're okay. Huh. I wonder. Let's go before anything else happens. So they think he's dead. Interesting. Very different from the original plotline when they know he's dead. He's going to come back later on. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Angela. We're playing as Angela again. Okay. Daniel? Where the fuck are you? Answer me. Actually, that's right. We didn't save Angela yet. We saved her in the first playthrough. We didn't save her in this playthrough yet. We still have to save her. CM Fool took me a dollar thirty and says, So maybe? No. But thank you for the dollar tip. Okay, we're up to twenty-eight dollars in tips tonight, everyone. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <clears throat> All right. Whew. Let's go. Is Daniel out here? <clears throat> no. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. He'll catch us up? You mean he'll get caught up with us? Not... What the hell? He'll catch us up? Is that English? That doesn't sound like proper grammar to me. He'll catch us up. You okay, Daniel? <laughs> They're still the calling for Daniel. You? Oh, what Daniel? the hell? Please what just happened? Me. Stay cool. We'll I lost it. my audio for a second, then it came back. That was weird. I got an audio blit. Alright, it's back now. That was odd. Oh. He'll catch us up on what happened? Well, if that's the truth, why didn't he just finish his fucking sentence? Why did he stop in the middle of his sentence? Because I think he'll catch up with us. That makes sense. He'll catch us up? That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> Daniel? Where are you, buddy? Wait, is this a whole new segment? Andrew! Hey! It is! You guys! This is a new segment. I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. 
Ah. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. <sighs> nice. What impact will he have on the end now? Because he's going to be in the ending sequence. Oh my god. <laughs> Thought I'd lost you. Can't get rid of me that easy. Uh oh. Oh, look at this one. Okay, okay. So who's this one? We didn't see John die yet, right? We didn't see John die yet. So his ghost isn't after him yet. And I guess and it's implied kid, Daniel's ghost could still get him at this point. Not seen her. There's the girl in the middle of the fucking field. This is when it gets intense. The engine's cold. This is Vince's car. <clears throat> okay. He's got a box of hippy dippy shit in his trunk. Burn in hell. I'll try to forget I just saw this. Yeah, he blamed an onlooker blamed Clark, the surviving kid. They blamed Andrew for being the surviving kid, Andrew Clark. Yeah, they blamed him for it. And now this makes sense. We know the family's last name is Clark, TC Tanya Clark, and she was the one who had the box of hippy dippy bullshit. <clears throat> <clears throat> the girl's there. This is going to lead into the final sequence, you I believe. See that? <clears throat> <clears throat> Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Yeah, I'll say. The girl was seen in the backyard of the ruined house. Okay. <clears throat> Hello! It's John's turn. Yup, it's John's turn now. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Josie. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your love to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Josie, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? Sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. <laughs> Hello, Derek. Good evening. We have to stop this. Confront Mary. Get away. <laughs> grab the doll. You tried to grab the poppet from Mary, but she resisted. Give me that! Look! See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. So it didn't matter what you did there. More stones! <clears throat> it wouldn't have mattered what you did. Rushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orp rests in your hands. It's obviously going to kill him. Uh. Died in the house fire. Yep. Now his ghost starts coming at him. Jeez. All right, we're in the home stretch now. This is it. The final sequence coming up. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? <laughs> Look for that. Here it comes. John, what are you doing? I'm kicking his fucking ass. Is what I'm doing. I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? 
We gotta move. No, we're fighting this thing. Here we go. Reassuring. John, please hurry. Did it? Deeper understanding. Okay. Angela urged John to hurry when confronted by demons outside the ruined house. So I think I unlocked her, but I already had done that. And I didn't get the trophy for it? Wait a minute. Understanding was one of the two top traits for Angela. Okay, I didn't do that first playthrough. All right. Come on, you fuck unready! Let's do this shit. His chest. Break his legs. Hell yeah. Smash it. Fuck it up. X. Oh god, I almost didn't do it. Oh no. Circle. An amazing dodge roll. Boosh! Right in the cranium. Nice, she held. She's like, fuck you, bitch. Beautiful. She stayed behind, she helped it. Say goodnight. How's that feel, fucker? Haha, <laughs> that's so good. Gotta help her, help her. She helped you, you help her. This will be your end if you don't help her. All right, you drowned, bitch. Fuck that chain. Woo! Very good. That creepy fuck. Oh boy. Almost safe. Come on. Stomp that fucker. Get inside. Very good. Woo! Oh, guys, still got him. I thought it was safe. No one is safe. Andrew's turn for a swing. Get in here. All right. We gotta go. Like now. No, heroic. Heroic. I did it! Go! John told Andrew to leave him as the demon pounded on the door. Heavy burden, authority figure. Did I do it? Did I do it? Save John! I did it! I saved all four characters this run. Yes, we did it. Good shit. That's it. We did it. Saved them all, so now we gotta see what happens if I complete everything properly here. But we saved everybody. Woo! All right. I'll hold it back. You can get away, escape. I did. You don't have to do this. This is stupid. Get out of there. Is it gone? I did it. I don't see it anymore. Whoo! I still didn't unlock her derisive, <laughs> her derisive trait, whatever that is. Where in God's name are we now? Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto. The last segment, I don't know if we need to do something with Angela here. I don't know. I mean, I did say I saved them all, but not Angela, I guess. But how the fuck do I save Angela then? Because I'm not Angela, now I'm Andrew. Maybe it's too late. Maybe I fucked up. Maybe I, I needed to save Angela earlier by doing stuff, and now it's too late to save her, possibly. 
But I don't know what I did wrong because I tried to do the right, the good choices, right? There's the girl. There's the girl peeking. And here's Daniel looking around. The girl was seen again inside the house heading upstairs. Okay. Ugh. Then again, I didn't unlock his fearful either. So maybe if you only unlock the good traits and not the bad, I still don't understand it. <laughs> I still don't understand it. <sighs> well, I don't think I can talk to anyone here, right? No, I can't talk to anybody. All I can do... I'm stuck. All I can do is examine the things in the house. If you look out each window, there's one of the ghosts out there. Watch, now it's going to show up. There it is. Ugh. That is so cool and creepy, the way they do that. Seriously, like the, the cinematography in this game is outstanding. It's done so well. It feels just like a great horror movie. I got to give them, like, monstrous props for the way that they did these shots. Here we go. The tire swing is out there. You know why? Because this is the burnt down house. This is the burnt down house from the 1970s. It's Andrew's house. He just doesn't realize it. Uh-oh. She's going to hang. She's going to be hanging out. <laughs> Alcoholic Mormon, the reason the reviews were bad on this game is because the people who review these games are fucking hacks who don't know what the fuck a good horror game is. Likely they're just fucking little pussy bitches who either couldn't get, get through it, or they probably are just like, oh, it's not artistic enough, you know, it didn't break the mold. What are you talking about? It feels like a really well done horror movie. You don't need it to be fucking gro insanely groundbreaking as long as it creeps you out. And, you know, the music's great. The fucking writing is good. The cinematography is good. The mocap is good. What was bad about this game? You know? The very end, some people I'm sure have issue with. Because some people might feel like it's a bait and switch or something. But for me, I think that the ending was good. So, it was not something I was expecting at the end. <clears throat> okay, the other half of the house now. This is where you find the key in the grandfather clock. And this is the key that the girl locks the mother uh, into, into her room. See that? This is the key the mother locks her into her room. And she dies of smoke inhalation. Reminds of old grandfather clock. Old key's hidden inside. That's the key to open everything. Yeah, that's the key to open everything. Letter from Reverend Carson. Your daughter's rebellious uh, behavior is not unusual. Have her come, come hang out with me. It's fucking weird. Fucking weird. Here we go. Cut. Alright. And now another spooky cut. It's coming! Coming for you. The only one we haven't seen is Angela's ghost. How is that busted door not opening? That's so ridiculous. That fucked up busted door doesn't open. Yeah, right. They won't let him go in here, even though you can tell this is open area, see? They don't let you go in there. I wonder if originally you could go in there, now you can't. Alright, this is it. We're going up, guys. This is going to be the finale. So, I hope you guys are ready. Ready for the big finale. Here we go. What was that? Gotta be the girl. Let's go find her. The only thing that's disappointing is you never find out why 
Megan did this to her family. Besides, we know there was a demon or something with her, but it's never fully explained. It would be nice if it were. She's in here. What the hell? <laughs> Stay here. Oh, he's remembering. What's going on? Oh, Jesus, I forgot about this. Ha <laughs> ha. He knows I was about to confess all to the church. No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Orb, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Now they accuse her of the witchcraft. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar uh. to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now this dead child, this creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing! This is crazy! These people have lost their freaking minds. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? <laughs> if I could do something to stop this, I would. Probably too late. Now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. There's something wrong in this town. Or enraged, Carver's evil. Say there's something wrong in this town. There's no question there's something very wrong here. Right in the heart of this place. There can be no doubt that little hope is afflicted. That darkness has taken hold of our town. <laughs> there is not a man or woman here today who does not already know the devil is in our midst. The sole purpose of this court is to remove evil, not indulge it further. Our time is not for wasting. You brought this all. Hmm. Mary isn't to blame. How do I make my decision? If I, I think now we're supposed to change our minds. Die. Destroy the doll. The only way I can see out of this is to get rid of that damn doll. Destroy that and the puppet must be cast asunder. Maybe. Andrew advised Abraham to destroy Mary's doll, resulting in a terrible fire at the courthouse. Wait, what? It is the what? cause of Mary's affliction. It holds her in its thrall. Oh, fuck. Destroy this puppet, and the devil will depart Mary. She will be restored, <laughs> an innocent child. Oh. Uh, Reverend. Oops. Burn the puppet. Destroy it. Oops. You must not act in haste. The girl must face the full consequences of My her deeds. My authority is not for questioning. Oh, God. I ask. Oh, no. This is not what I intended. Oh my god. Very updated. Yup. Oh shit. Holy shit. You did everything you could. Don't blame yourself. Huh. None of this is your fault. It's pretty much impossible to know the correct thing. Remember the first playthrough, we blamed the priest, and we had the evidence because we had found the book, the Bible, that had the witchcraft inside the book. So you could blame the priest, and the priest got blamed, but then everyone still died because I hadn't redeemed them during the playthrough. In this playthrough, I think I redeemed everyone, but we didn't save the girl, I guess. Yeah, is Carl Jesus, right? you needed the book to I'm get the sure best ending. That. Uh, see him fool to me a dollar thirty says have you seen unfriended it's surprisingly a good horror movie is that the one where people unfriend this girl on massive social media and then somehow they get haunted and killed and shit i think i saw it a million years ago yeah i think i saw it when it was like new or something i could have just made things a whole lot worse 
Whatever questions we still got, they won't be answered now. Let's just get out of here. Hmm. You okay? What just happened? I think we've seen the last of that kid. Huh. So they all make it. They all make it. They all get out of the house. No monsters kill them at all. Taylor survived the night. Angela survived the night. Daniel survived the night. John survived the night. Nice. So they all survive, but it's not the best ending. It's still a good ending. They're all alive. Hey, Vince. I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. He knows who he is. He knows he's Andrew. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. Huh. Mm-hmm. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help, and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. And now he turns, and they're all gone. No? There's the diner. How fucking great does this feel? They're all there together. Oh, what the? This is very different. I'm so happy we all made it out of here. But? My ass is so getting fired tomorrow. So? <laughs> what's the deal now, T? I don't know, D. But stick around. Let's see what happens. Huh. In this ending, they're not the where's the bus driver? I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on yourself. Ah, here we go. Well, right? Finally getting out of this hell. Like yourself. <laughs> There we go. Got it. He absorbs them all back into himself, basically. <clears throat> I just wish we all could have made it. Faramin. Traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. Yeah, <laughs> not there. There's nobody there. It's crazy. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Has he always been like crazy, like schizophrenic, having these personalities trapped in his head? Or did it only happen with the bus crash? You know, it's uncertain. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Huh. And this is what's funny, is that knowing that he was just him the whole time. Hi there. Talking to Vince. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen yeah. him? <laughs> That's why he laughs, because he's talking to a bus driver. Yeah, that's funny. Cut. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need a clear head. You shouldn't be drinking right now. 
I don't think it's a good idea. Drinking's all I got left. You see, the bridge was never broken. He imagined the whole thing. <clears throat> what the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. <laughs> hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Hmm. So I wonder if they all die and he's left alone at the end of the game and he has the gun, he could kill himself here. That's one of the premonitions. I think that's the absolute worst ending. Is if he doesn't save any of them, he loses his mind at the end of the game and kills himself. And you found the bus driver, he was never far away. There you go. What's this? I never unlocked this. What the fuck is this? I don't even know. There's a final thing I didn't unlock. Huh. Josh Rush and Cigar, stop that right now. You're not my alternate personalities in the stream chat. Stop that right now. Oh, really? Carlton Jr. says, this is so interesting. He says, if he has the gun at the end of the game and you don't pick the options to use all the bullets because there's four bullets in the playthrough, you could, he could kill himself at the end of the game if everyone dies. If you use all the bullets, he could try to kill himself and fail because he has no bullets. Dude, there's so many scenarios in this game. That's crazy. You could literally keep replaying this game and get a different outcome every time, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Spartan King cheered. So Derek says he was just watching Elite Deletion match Matt Hardy at AW Full Gear. Um, and he says, Hurricane Helms and Gangrel made appearances. Okay. <laughs> Great. Nin Star Rune cheered. He says, why did he say, I wish we could all have made it? I thought everyone was saved. What he meant to say is, I wish we all could have made it out of the house, the house fire. That they could all actually be alive. Those people always haunted him because they died in the fire, and he wished that they all could have been there together, for real. There you go. <clears throat> That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. <laughs> you could always try again, see if you can get a different result. Hmm. He's applauding. Congratulations. Yeah. Your single charge found a way through the guilt, the horror, and came away whole. Yeah. And you eventually found him. <laughs> the bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. I really don't know what else could have been better about the ending. You know? I don't know. The way I see it, when the pop it burned, it burned the fabrication of what was going on in the past because there was again? no little hope of the past. Maybe you know? in the South Pacific. <clears throat> Here we go. The Arabian Deserts. The Arabian Desert's the next one. We've already been in the South Pacific. Else. But we will meet again. At least one more time. So that's the third one, but he says, at least. That's what makes you feel like there's only going to be a third one. The Arabian Desert. Very good. So I like that. That's really cool. I like doing it a second time because that was cool. I got to save them all. And we got to see a different ending with how the, the, the past of Little Hope went down, right? That was pretty good, man. So, now that I've played the game twice, all right... I really like this game. I think this is better than Man of Medan by miles. And honestly, I think it's pretty much on par with Until Dawn. I really do. I feel like it's on par with Until Dawn. It's that good. It's, it feels like a real horror movie, you know? <clears throat> it's so loud. I wish you, you know you could skip this eventually, but you gotta wait. Oh my god. It won't shut up. It won't stop. Won't you spare me over for another year? The Rock remix is much better than this version. Let's put it that way. Can I seriously not skip it now? Why not? I was able to skip it the first playthrough. Now I can't. What the hell? Yeah, I can't. They won't let me. 
Maybe because I got the true. Is that the true ending or something? Won't you spare me over for another year? Yes, it's definitely better than Sekiro. Absolutely, it's better than Sekiro. This is so weird. I could I could skip the credits the first playthrough, and now I can't. Why could I skip it the first time and not this time? What the fuck? What the hell? I'm so confused that I can't skip it. <laughs> I'd like to talk, but I can't when this guy's fucking yelling and singing. If you just shut up. Will you just shut up. Is that Sponge? It is SpongeBob singing, actually. Yes, that's SpongeBob. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I won't shut up. Won't you spare me over for another year? It still won't shut up. I can't get it to stop. There's no stopping it. This is the real horror right now. I can't get it to shut up. <laughs> anyway, so my final thoughts. I really like that game, man. That's how you do a horror game. It, it feels like you're watching an actual horror movie. It seriously does. The, like I said, the cinematography is outstanding. The soundtrack, amazing, right? Um, the acting was good. The, you know, the dialogue was good. It's all good, right? Carlton Jr. Tree says, The game never explains the demon that the little sister saw in the beginning, but it makes sense because you only see the story from Anthony's perspective. In reality, there's still questions because we don't know the sister's story. We just know... We don't know if the Reverend was abusing her, but it's a good game nonetheless. And I think the reason they do that is very simple. Because they want to leave... Oh, there we go. What the fuck? So here's the preview of the next game again. I want to watch it one more time, this preview. We'll start believing. The South... Where is the Arabian Desert? I don't know what. You wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell... I don't believe in how it's there. What were they attacked by? In Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the house of ashes, where they lived on dust, plagued by the demons of the underworld. What the fuck? <laughs> Ugh. House of Ashes, 2021. All right. So. Oh, yeah, the Edict says the statue is the same Pazuzu demon from The Exorcist. Well, the Pazuzu demon is a real demon in, uh, what, mythology or religion, right? Um, Salvation! I got a silver trophy! Salvation, is that because I saved everyone? I think so. Yeah, I think so. So that was cool, and again, this game feels like a great horror movie. Why is it the ultimate twist that it feels like a horror movie? Because just like a horror movie, you don't get all the answers. A good horror movie typically doesn't answer everything for you. It leaves unanswered questions that give you this feeling of uneasiness that, oh man, you know, what really happened, right? You don't know. You know, every every horror, good horror movie that really haunted me had that feeling after I watched it. And this is no exception. What really happened with the little sister Megan? Was she really haunted by a demon? Was she crazy because this priest had been abusing her and she lost her mind and just wanted to kill everything around her, right? Like, who knows? And you'll never get that answer. But that's the cool part about a really good uh, horror movie. You know, it really is. It's a good part about a really good horror movie. So Little Hope, two thumbs up from me. I like it way better than Man of Medan. It's on par with Until Dawn for me. Now, this House of Ashes, I don't know. I guess we're going to see. It's supposed to come out in 2021, but I would hope... I hope it comes out around Halloween of next year. If they, if these games come out Halloween of every year, that would be outstanding if they could do that. Like once a year on Halloween. I would dig that. I would love playing a, a Dark Pictures Anthology game every single year around Halloween. So I hope that's the case. I hope we'll get another one next year because they are saying 2021. Okay? But good stuff. Very good playthrough. Straight Cash Homie resub for 11 months, 36 months total. So that's three years of support. And he says, how's it going? Pretty good. That was really awesome. CM Fool tip me a dollar. Says to be crystal clear, is a full quiet man or stalker run in the cards? No. Okay. So. 
that is it for Little Ho. Thank you to everyone who watched the first run. Thank you to everyone who watched the second run. I really like that second run. I like the feeling of redemption. Like, you did everything right. You freed yourself of the demons, and everyone basically made it out. I liked that. It seems like he's not haunted anymore. Maybe he's moved on, right? Maybe it's not the ultimate best ending because we didn't find the book where we could blame the priest, but I liked that. Kevin K-Man cheered. He said, nice shirt. Don't forget to, to, to get your election time power armor and pit point paint free in Fallout 4. I'm not playing Fallout 4, but thank you, Captain K-Man, for the cheer. I appreciate that. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, guys. That was great. If they do these once a year now or on Halloween, I, that's right up my alley. I hope, honestly, with that being so good, I hope there's one a year. I hope, like, every year now, moving forward, because someone said there's maybe up to eight of them. I don't know about that. I think it's really going to depend on how they do, how the sales do. If they sell, they'll keep making them. If they don't sell so well, they're probably not going to keep making them. Now, we're guaranteed to get one more with House of Ashes. Depending on the sales numbers, maybe they'll keep going, or like he said... I guarantee to see you at least one more time. And I think the reason he said that is because he's implying we're definitely making one more game, but if they do well, maybe we'll make more, you see? So I guess we'll find out, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the playthrough. For Little Hope, DSP signing off. Thank you guys very, very much. I hope you had a good time as much as I did. Later.